Hello everybody, it's time for Calio to geek out for the very first time on camera for everybody to watch on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be just like a very short like first video for my channel. Um, and I'm just going to be like doing a really quick, uh, really quick uh, introduction to some new electronic toys that I, um, that I got on eBay. Um, for those of you who, for those of you who already follow me on, um, on Twitter and, you know, talk to me a lot on, on, um, on like messengers and stuff, you know, it's no, you know, it's no, um, it's, it's, you know, no strange thing that, you know, I dabble in electronics. I mean, you know, look, look at all, I mean, look at this, you know, neat little stuff right here, but, um, uh, no, I've actually got some neat nifty new little toys that I'm really squee, that I'm just really squeeful about. So without much further ado, uh, let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to introduce is this, um, is this really nice little uh, 60 watt power supply? Uh, basically, um, you know, it's basically like mains in DC, mains in on this side, DC out on this side. Uh, it takes anywhere from 100 to 220 volts at either 50 or 60 hertz, depending on whether you live in the United States or um, in Europe, or you know, depending on whether you live in North or South Japan, because Japan, because Japan actually has uh, two separate electric grids that operate at different frequencies. It's so weird, but uh, you know, you feed it in mains and it puts out 12 volts at 5 amps and uh, you know Ohm's law voltage times amps equals watts hence 60 watts um, but this is just a really nice you know cheap little DC power supply and it's got you know really nice uh, screw lugs here but this is going to be the first piece of um, this is going to be the first piece in a little project of mine to build my first adjustable lab power supply and uh, I'm going to be uh, dissecting this in a um, in a future video just to see what's going on inside because I am because uh, you know I'm just kind of I, I'm, I'm just kind of eager to see what's going on because you can kind of sort of see through the grate this is really simple but uh, yeah in a future video I'm going to be um, I'm going to be you know I'm just going to be like you know cutting the cutting the uh, top cover off um, or not cutting I'm just going to be like you know taking the top cover off of this and we're going to figure this out. The next little piece that I want to introduce is uh, this really cool uh, is this really cool little circuit. Um, it's based around a Linear Technologies LTC thirty seven eighty switch mode power supply controller, um, and this is just such a really cool. I mean, this circuit looks really complicated, but in basic principle, it's really it's actually really quite simple, and it's just really cool in the way it works. Um, and I'll be going over that in a future video as well. But it's got these, you know, three little uh, trim pots here that are for, uh, they're basically for um, voltage set, current limit set, and uh, this one is uh, UV, which is under voltage uh, set. Uh, I think, um, I think I remember watching, um, I remember watching uh, Great Scott. Um, on YouTube, I'll put a link to his channel uh, down in the description because he's actually kind of a fun, uh, kind of a fun YouTuber, but uh, kind of a fun electronics YouTuber to watch. But um, you know, he actually has a, a couple of videos where he made a, a, an adjustable lab power supply using you know these two things: this you know 60 watt, um, this 60 watt power supply, and then one of these. Um, so. And I think he said that this is under voltage for like you know if you're if you're uh, using like solar panel or something like that I, I can't remember like solar charging or something but uh, anyways this is actually really really cool in the way it works um, and uh, I'll also be going over this in a future video but the basic gist is you know for the lab power supply is you know I have this switch mode uh, this switch mode power supply which acts as what's called a pre-regulator where you put your mains in and it outputs um, and it outputs your power at and outputs that and it basically just takes that mains voltage at you know 120 volts 60 hertz because you know this is the United States and it bucks that down to 12 volts steady DC which is the ideal voltage for this little circuit to operate at peak efficiency no matter what its output voltage is and this can be set from anywhere from 0 to 30 volts at I forget how many amps I'm gonna have to look it up again um, or at up to however many amps I can't remember but this this can handle an absurd amount of wattage in just this little this just this little compact package this you know 
switch mode power supplies are just really just absolutely amazing at that. But I'll be going over this in a little bit more detail in a future video. And finally, the third little toy, the third little electronics toy that I'm going to introduce is this uh, four relay module. And you can actually get these for crazy cheap on eBay. You can get them like, you know, one, two, four, or even eight relay modules. Uh, they're just like this. And this just has so many cool, uh, this is just such a cool, simple little circuit. And, you know, just, ah, it just makes me so happy to when I look through it. But the cool thing about these relays, the especially cool thing about these relays is the coils in them require only a five volt signal. They require only five volts for the relay to, you know, for the uh, relay to actually switch, which means this can be operated at the logic levels or at the uh, logic voltage levels of Arduino or even, you know, just a similar microcontroller like if you're using a different Atmel AVR or if you're a microchip fanboy and you use PIX all the time, you know, it, this will operate at 5 volts so that you can use something just like this to uh, operate this and, you know, I'll also be I'll also be going over this in a, in a future video as well, but um, this is like one of the coolest little things right here, and this is pretty much the major puzzle piece that I need for a little personal project that I've um, that I've got in mind, and you know I'll also go over that when I you know pick this apart in a future video. But this is just such a this is just such a cool little circuit, but. Uh, yeah, so um, those are those are my new toys, and uh, I'm totally geeking out about them. And um, I'll be um, I'll be uh, releasing a few uh, few videos in the future about each of them. So um, just keep so uh, just uh, you know keep an eye out on the channel, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy watching me geek out about stuff. Um, this um, to kind of uh, talk a little bit about the channel. I'm basically uh, just going to be geeking out about you know whatever the heck happens to be on my mind at the time. Like it'll mostly be like electronics and maths related stuff. But you know I might throw in some science here and there. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, geek out a little bit about um, automotive technology or some other form of technology or something like that. Maybe um, maybe I'll do some like wiki walking about like chemical and chemistry uh, related stuff or something like that. It's just whatever I'm geeking out about basically. So um, you know. So uh, you know, subscribe. You know, maybe so uh, maybe uh, subscribe. Hit the bell icon and um, won't you go on a and uh, well. Geek out with me. Bye.